We have been unable to reach a unanimous verdict. All right, two minutes past the hour now, back to the Karen Reed murder trial where the jury is deadlocked. Judge Beverly Canoni reading a note that was from yesterday before, uh, from the jurors, again, indicating that they could not come to a decision. Canoni sent them back to continue deliberating. But at the end of the day, they went home for the weekend with no decision. And so far, we've heard testimony from 74 witnesses, more than 650 exhibits filed as evidence. And NBC 10's Mary Marcos live in the newsroom with a closer look at these deliberations. Mary. Well, the 12 member jury sent that handwritten note after more than three days of deliberation. Then Karen Reed's defense asked the judge to take the first step towards a mistrial. Our position is the jury should be read the Tui Rodriguez model instruction and uh, go from there. If jurors can't come to a verdict, Judge Beverly Canoni could declare a mistrial. Prosecutors would then have to decide if they want to try the case again, according to legal experts. Karen Reed's defense urging the judge to take the first step in that process by asking her to read the Tui Rodriguez charge, a set of instructions the judge will read to deadlock jurors, typically after they've gone back to deliberate several times. Legal experts say it's rarely, rarely given and only when jurors jurors are hopelessly deadlocked because it runs the risk of encouraging those who might be holding out on one side or the other to change their opinion and go along with the majority. It's called uh, by trial attorneys euphemistically the TNT of the nitroglycerin charge. Uh, candidly, if you think you're winning a case, uh, you don't necessarily uh, uh, one a Rodriguez charge uh, if you think the jury is leaning in your direction. Now, Jay Blitz says that retrying the case would be very expensive, both for the state and the defense, but he says the price of, the, of justice is hard to value. Live in the newsroom, Mary Marcos, NBC10 Boston. This is so interesting, Mary. Thank you. And yes, it's anyone's guess as to how, the, how close the jury could be reaching to verdict. One of the possibilities, again, includes a hung jury. And so NBC10's Michael Rosenfield explains what the ending would look like in this very high-profile case.